So what is the meaning of congruent? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and we will answer that question right now. Now, congruent is often related to the word equal, even though they don't quite mean the same thing, even though they do sound very similar when you put them side by side. Now, here's the definition of what congruent actually is. It, we're talking about equal parts or equal wholes, and the idea of congruence is often used in geometry. Now, it is a little different from equal sign in that respect. Now, the symbol for congruent is often a wavy line, but there's an equal sign right below it. That's why they can be confused with each other, but they're not quite the same. Now, here's an example as to how congruence can be used, and I want to use triangles as an illustration. You have here two triangles. Now, in order for them to be congruent, they have to have the same equal angles as well as the same lengths for sides. Now, to indicate congruence for sides, here's how you do that. If this side is congruent to this side, then what you do is you represent that they're congruent by putting a single slash. Now, if you wanted to show that this side is equal to this side, then you have a second pair of corresponding sides that are congruent, and you indicate the second pair by double slashes. And then if you want to show that the hypotenuses are equal, then you represent three slashes. Now, as it relates to angles, you use curves instead. Now, if you wanted to prove that this angle is congruent to this angle, you draw one curve. And if you wanted to show that this angle was equal to this angle, then you use two curves to indicate the congruence. And if this was triangle one and this was triangle two, if you want to show that they're both congruent, then you basically use the congruent symbol. So, my name is Jimmy Chang, and that is the demonstration as to the meaning of congruent.